Hello everyone, this is Himadri Bhuya, hoping that you are staying indoors or at home and are following the procedures to stay safe and away from infection in this period of COVID-19 pandemic. In this video, you will find a list of 7 movies on virus outbreaks which I have compiled from the internet. Except for 3 of the movies listed here, the others are works of fiction. And yet what intrigued me are the stark similarities between them and the current infectious times we are living in. With most of us staying indoors, I think it will be a good time to catch up on these movies and learn a few things from them too. In number 1 we have 93 Days from 2016, which is a Nigerian production by Steve Gukas that tells us the true story of Ebola outbreak in Nigeria in 2014 and a group of medical practitioners whose sacrifice led to the containment of the disease. Currently, several countries are at a stage where it is imperative to contain and isolate COVID-19 so that it stops spreading further and we could take a leaf out of this movie. In number 2 we have Beats Per Minute from 2017, a French movie by Robin Campillo that tells the story of the advocacy group ACT UP from Paris which demands action by the government and pharmaceutical companies to combat the AIDS epidemic in the early 1990s. This artistically made movie portraying life, death and politics is important for the current context as it remains a testimony of the improvements in health sector partly due to public action. In number 3 we have 12 Monkeys from 1995 which is a movie by Terry Gilliam that tells the story of a future where a virus has wiped out most of the population of the world and the remaining live underground as the air overground is poisonous and a prisoner of the state is sent back in time to gather information about the man-made virus. Of course it is a what if fantasy and does not apply to our current times. But who doesn't love a good mystery thriller that is a cinematic delight as well. In number 4 we have Outbreak from 1995 which is an action thriller by Wolfgang Peterson that tells the story of an outbreak of an Ebola-like virus in a California town brought in by an African monkey. This virus is contagious and at first spreads through touch or contact, but it soon mutates and becomes airborne. Thereon, it becomes a race against time to find a cure and save the town from getting wiped out totally. Certain instances from the film are quite similar to the news and footages of COVID-19 pandemic we have seen in television or read on the newspaper. In number 5 we have Contagion from 2011 which is a movie by Steven Soderbergh about a virus that originates in Hong Kong and spreads fast across the world. There is a high probability that you may have already seen this movie and if you haven't then I'd say please don't miss it. What makes it stand out for me is the uncanny resemblance between how the societal order collapsing, paranoia and fear spreading, politics, fake news, victims and medical practitioners plight matches the current infectious times we are living in. In number 6 is The Flu from 2013 which is a Korean action thriller by Sung Soo Kim that tells the fictional story of an airborne virus that infects the population of a city close to Seoul. With chances of Seoul and the rest of the world getting infected pretty fast, the city goes into a total lockdown and chaos begins. As the military takes over and a threat of total annihilation looms large over both the infected and uninfected people, a group of medical practitioners race against time to track down a survivor and create an antibody. It is very much a Korean version of Outbreak and Contagion and yet a 4 year old steals the show. Watch it for her if not for anything else. In number 7 we have Virus from 2019 which is an Indian drama by Ashik Abu about a real life account of the 2018 Nipah virus outbreak in Kerala and the fight put on by the people involved to contain the disease. The plot is set in Kozikod and explores the collective paranoia created by the virus outbreak and how it disrupted the life of individuals, both victims and healthcare professionals and the eventual eradication of the virus. That's it for now. Thank you everyone for watching and I hope this finds you all safe and in the best of your health. This is Himadri Bhuya signing off.